So welcome back, uh, my fellow YouTube subscribers. I figured I'd do a little something different here. And uh, I want to announce that I'm going to thinking about it or trying to try it out for the <clears throat> the new Survivor TV show, if, if none of you ever heard of that. It's a reality show. And... Uh, see what happens and go from there with my quirky mind anyway i don't want to get off topic here you came to probably tune in and listen to some demo vinyls or talk about a vinyl that i recently purchased but definitely want to try out for survivor so stay tuned to this guy mike this face and wacky hair so I bring to you, most people I'm sure probably heard of this, Hootie and the Blowfish, Crack View Mirror, was released in 1994 and sold about 10.4 million copies worldwide, was the grossest album in that year than any other album that was out at that time. So quality record pressings came out with this this past week as I'm speaking and I got this shipped overnight and they don't really go into detail of how many were produced but I got you could see 704 out of don't know how many were produced but so it's the 75th anniversary of remastering from Chad Kasem from Acoustic Sounds. And obviously this was cut at a, a 45 RPM, 180 gram, 2 LP. And I have already listened to this LP and <clears throat> it sounds phenomenal. I had the CD, I had the cassette before. And just listening this through the clear audio performance DC turntable and my speakers behind me I don't have to give you any introduction about them but I hear things that I never heard before with any of acoustic sounds um, vinyls their quality record pressings or their UHQR pressings they're phenomenal a little bit pricey but well worth it and when i got this it's pretty cool some uh, acoustic sound does this where the top you just peel off and leave the plastic in it so give you a little show here of the opening I love how they have the certain lyrics for each track song and every every song on this as you know or have heard of is phenomenal and then that's what the the back looks like the track listings And I love that always acoustic sound. They're kind of like Mo Fidelity. They give you the little package uh, anti uh, scratch resistance and static, all that good stuff. But yeah, I mean, we, we'll get into. Darius Rucker, which, as you all know, he's a country singer now, but this album is probably one, one, one of my favorites out of my whole vinyl collection, and till this, I, I'll probably never get tired of hearing this pressing compared to the CD and cassette, and I was thinking about doing... Let's see, we're on track A, 
one that was played a lot on the radio but when I heard it on the radio don't sound like it does now like I said I hear things that I haven't heard before different kind of instruments things like that in the background the vocal is much clearer much more detailed like he's sitting in the living room we were going to do let her cry and I'll see if I could get away with playing the whole five minutes and eight seconds of let her cry and uh, I hope you enjoyed the demo and uh, let me know what you all think about it if you're a Hootie and the Blowfish or Darius Rucker's fan I highly recommend this album I put a link below in the comment section the acoustic sounds.com they already have them out some places you gotta pre-order it but Chad Kasem he's the one that does the pressings for these quality record pressings and there's another one out which album you probably already heard of is Matchbox 20 they did a quality record pressing too of 45 RPM but I got the regular version so kinda don't think I need that one Alright, so I'm going to do a demo and let her cry and uh, enjoy everyone, alright? She sits alone by a lamp post Sorry Trying to find a thought that's escaped from mine She says there's the one I love the most Oh, I got it upside down. 